tighter with the hand here, but more open to to adjusting <laughs> for the lower one. My philosophy about teaching is, of course, demand really the highest possible standards from them, but at the same time affording them the luxury of a place where they can experiment and they can still explore themselves as people and, and, and musicians. What have you got today then, Atticus? Professor Rockins is really great to work with and he has such a versatile and distinguished career as a chamber musician, as a soloist, as a conductor, and you know that he's approaching everything with the experience of playing in one of the most renowned quartets in the world. It's a pianistic way. That, that's when we can use our feeling of playing the keyboard to, to, to make something that's sort of, it's a bit unchillistic in a way. It makes me feel very comfortable and he brings a lot of storytelling in the music and I feel like I'm always inspired. I'm excited because I know that with all of the students that I have, they all have curiosity and great intelligence. And they're going to bring something to me that's going to surprise me. Professor Watkins is an incredible musician and he's very thoughtful and is definitely demanding. That was a lot better. That was a lot better. Brilliant. Okay. Do you want to do the, do the second part as well? For me personally, Yale has been a really extraordinary place to be and exactly what I wanted to get from my master's degree. I would say come to Yale because you'll be in a wonderful place to discover as much as you possibly can about yourself as a musician, not just as an instrumentalist, but as a person who makes music and loves communicating this wonderful art form to the world.